Hey guys, this is Mr. Breen, and in this video I'll be talking about temporal clauses in Greek, focusing on the conjunctions epe and hos. Here are some examples of temporal clauses in Greek. Our first sentence is Paloi lepusi tusagrus epe poie ta depnon. This means uh, many leave uh, the fields when uh, he makes or he, she makes dinner. So notice a couple things. First, we have two clauses. How do I know? Well, we have two verbs, lepusi and poie. Second, we have a clause marker, epe, meaning when. Our second sentence is, tus bus lua hos fere ha dulas ta arotron. This means, release the oxen uh, when the slave brings the plow. Here again, we have two clauses. How do I know? Two verbs, lua, an imperative verb, and fere. There's also a clause marker, hos. Um, which introduces our dependent clause. Our third sentence is ento oiko menomen epe proskore ha megas anthropas. This means we remain in the house when the large person uh, approaches. Here again we have two clauses signaled by our two verbs menomen and proskore, and we have our clause marker epe meaning when, um, which introduces our dependent clause. So what do these look like in English? I've given you a few sentences here to see what they look like. Um, I will finish my homework when pigs fly. Here we have two clauses um, indicated by our two verbs, finish and fly. And uh, the second one is introduced by the clause marker when. The word temporal, which gives us temporal clauses, comes from the Latin word tempus, meaning time. Temporal clauses are related to time. In these cases, we're talking about um, when something happens relative to something else. So it answers the question, when? I will finish my homework. When will you finish your homework? When pigs fly. Our second sentence is, I was talking about him as he walked through the door. Notice again, two clauses, how do I know? Two verbs, was talking, walked, um, and I have this clause marker as. So notice that for temporal clauses, I don't just need when as a clause marker. I could have as or before or after, um, something like that. But again, even though my clause marker isn't when, it still answers the question when. When was I talking about him? Well, I was doing it as he walked through the door. Temporal clauses like these are adverbial. That is, they modify something in the main clause in an adverbial way. That means that they're modifying either a verb, an adjective, or a different adverb. And in these cases, they're pretty much always going to be modifying verbs. So, um, I will finish my homework. When pigs fly. When will you finish? When pigs fly. I was talking about him as he walked through the door. When were you talking? As he walked through the door. Our third sentence is, once I go professional, I'll never have to worry about thinking again. Here again, we see two clauses, um, one with the verb go and another with the verb have to worry. And our dependent clause is introduced by uh, our clause marker, once. Again, it's not the word when, but we're still talking about some time relation. When will I never have to worry about thinking again? once I go professional. Here are another few examples in Greek. Hos pipte ha auturgas ha dulas gela um, means when the farmer falls, the slave laughs. Our main clause is ha dulas gela, and our dependent clause is hos pipte ha auturgas, telling us when the slave was laughing. Our second sentence is epe aitias amy ento agromeno, or um, when I am blameworthy, I remain in the field, or you could switch those around. I remain in the field when I am blameworthy. So we have two clauses with the verbs meno and amy, and our dependent clause is introduced by the clause marker epe, meaning when. Um, so again, this tells us, epe aitias amy, tells us when I remain in the field. Our final sentence is pros ta dendron ha despotes baine host ton siton ha dulas vere. This means the master uh, walks toward the tree when the slave brings the grain. So our two clauses are this first one, prosta dendron ha despotes baine, that's our main clause, and then our dependent clause with the clause, clause marker host is host ton si ton ha dulas fere. Um, take this opportunity to get some practice. Uh, I'll go ahead and give you a few seconds to pause uh, and then put the answers up on the screen. But what I want you to do is I want you to translate these sentences.